Telemiracle and the University of Saskatchewan's College of Agriculture have gone hand in hand for almost 40 years. The very first bed push from Saskatoon to Regina happened in 1982. It probably was just a bunch of students sitting around, possibly having a few beers, talking about uh, you know ways that they could have students participate in some sort of a fundraising event um, for Telemiracle. How they came upon the bed push, I, I don't know actually. We didn't do much training. I remember we used to always say we'd, we would train and we'd maybe run around campus a couple of times, but we usually ended up in Louis afterwards, <laughs> you know, discussing how good our training session was. Enthusiasm for the bed push has never wavered at the college. Last year, about 30 students per day were involved in the three-day run, which also involves a number of inspiring stops. Yeah, the first day we stopped at the Dendern Elementary School for lunch. They were gracious enough to, to host us. Um, and just seeing all those kids' faces light up and seeing what the College of Ag is all about and giving back to the community, that, that was huge for us. Each year's run ends with a Saturday evening visit to the Telemiracle stage. In 2020, it was especially memorable as the college made its biggest donation ever. The goal was 45000 but we raised $55,011.69. The college has adapted how it raises money. In the beginning, students accepted donations as they traveled on the highway. Now, fundraising reaches further into the community. And in the last, like I said, four to six years, sponsors have really been stressed, getting local businesses involved, really upping the game. And it's grown into something that's beyond our college. Um, it's a true representation of the sport and generosity of the agriculture industry. And, and really just the province alone. Uh, we have donations coming from all over the province, from all kinds of families that just want to support Telemiracle. Another evolution to the event is that in 2018, alumni from the college returned to renew their support. In 2020, three generations of Altwassers participated in the run, as Carter, his dad, and his grandfather all took part. As with Telemiracle, Tradition and dedication to the cause is what keeps driving the bed push ahead. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a it's it's a tradition that carries on. They still use the same bed frame. You know, they've retooled retooled it, made it a lot better. The old frame is still the exact same one that I that I remember pushing back in the uh, mid '80s when I was in the college. Both Telemiracle and the Agros have deep roots in our province. Rural based, small towns small cities across the province. And I think, you know, one of the draws to fundraising for Telemiracle is, again, just that, that connection to community. I fully expect that this will continue.